So hi guys, this is Anak back with another video, and uh, as you can see, I have the Casio FX 9920EX and the Casio FX 9920ES Plus, and um, basically, I'm going to be comparing both of them and. I'm also going to do a speed test, um, maybe in this video. And so, as I said, you know, make sure you keep watching. So, first of all, when we look at these calculators, then the first thing which strikes us is the case. So, the Casio FX 920 EX unfortunately doesn't have a case with, uh, it has a case which lacks much of design. Well, this FX 9920 S Plus has a case which you know it's full of design like it has a design and it doesn't lack definition so um but still the casio fx 920 ex uh looks more normal than this case so uh this the color the vibrant white color of this case makes up for the lack of definition on the case so that's it for cases and um so basically the thing is that this is more definition this doesn't but this is a more vibrant color and looks more normal so next i'm going to compare the you know the build quality so first when we look at the build quality of the 920x class viz uh the you know the metal buttons are quite attractive and they they are quite striking to look at they are very attention seeking and um, they enhance the build quality they are of good quality they don't rust and they're also textured also the body the overall body the buttonless body is quite textured and it looks uh, quite premium in your hand and um, this rather doesn't have that much of the texture and the um, these corresponding buttons are made of plastic which you know is prone to scratches and scuff marks due to sweat so overall and the buttons of this calculator are much more easy to use than this and um, this looks more professional than the the ES plus so next I'm going to compare the you know the basic what the calculator does that part so coming to the part of you know the most needed part of calculators the menu of this calculator is much more easy to look at and you can just easily toggle through the um, you can just easily toggle through the various modes and functions which makes this 9920x much more special than the fx 9920s plus well as you can see here you can see there are many options and you know it seems very boring to look at but this here you can just clearly see the difference so and also uh, this has a feature of qr codes so the casio of its 9 ex has more features which you know distinguishes it from the Casio FX 9 ES Plus. Also, there's one more special feature which Casio just introduced, the QR code feature. So, suppose I have an answer, I can just press Shift and QR to get the QR code, which I can scan with my smartphone, and I can, you know, get the help of the web in that particular sum. And it also has a factorization feature, in which you can just press shift and factor the two square between seven got factorized so that's pretty easy to do it's, it's good for getting a star in maths and help people who are a bit scared of maths so overall this is a brilliant calculator if you just you want to get this i would recommend that you increase your budget by 400 300 to 400 to get this much more worth calculator which is cheaply available in snapdeal in snapdeal and um so it doesn't you, you won't be overburdened if you just increase your budget by 300 to 400 rather you would get a calculator which is much more worth so that's well that's my recommendation 
You can the back though, because you have X9 and the EX is more stylish, you know. These edges are really unparalleled, and as you can see, this effect, this effect is really a uh, stylish feature which sets the Casio FX9 and EX from apart from the Casio FX9 and ES Plus. So I have these two equations the x squared plus 6x minus 9 is equal to 0 and x squared plus 6x minus 9 is equal to 0. Same equations in both of them and now I'm going to just press the solve button on both of them and I'm going to see which calculator provides this answer this the answer to this equation the fastest so that's a good speed test and uh, let's do it so are we ready now the button this solve and on this so three two one go wait solve for x so let's just press the equal button three two one go now you can see this provided the answer so quickly two seconds before this wow because you have not in the x wins in this equation so now i have a different equation which is more complex this is x squared plus 2x minus 9 is equal to 0 and in the es plus also x squared by 3x plus 2x minus 9 is equal to zero so you know, i have these equations so i have these equations and and i'll do i'll just press the solve button and see which one gives the answer the fastest so are we ready let's do this so i have my two fingers on the equal to buttons so are we ready to do this let's do this three two one go wow did you see the speed did you see the speed man this is amazing my nine is dominating in both of these equations let's move on to two more so for the next equation this is x cubed by 3x squared plus 2x minus 9 is equal to 0 the same in both the calculators fx9 and es plus i do want you to think that um being biased against this so let's see who can win in this one because you have x9 and es plus you need to catch up okay so this is going to be epic now i'm going to press my fingers on the equal buttons make sure you watch up Okay, so three, two, one, go. Wow. Casio of this man with the X dominated again. Lead up on second. Good. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the speed test. And Casio of X man with the X won in the speed test. And. You know, if you think that um, I could do the speed tests in many other ways, and so you could just suggest and comment down there. So I wish of my viewers who are not yet subscribed, subscribe and hit the, the subscribe button right there and click the, on the notifications bell. And um, so, yeah, that's it for the speed test. And... Uh, and yeah, well, one thing I would like to mention about both the calculators is that Casio's quality of the screen is extremely poor. I bought this and within one month, I can't, I'm not sure really whether you can see it or not. It's got you know, scratched and scuffed and I don't really like screens which are scratched or scuffed. And here... You can see that there are some dead pixels. You can see, yeah, there are some dead pixels 
you know some but anyway this is what you can get if you if your budget is low but anyway i was not very happy with this part and um, one thing which i would we want to tell guys here is to improve the quality of these screens so so that's it for my you know review plus speed test this was one video which i was longing to do okay so that brings us to the end of the video make sure you like comment share and subscribe the subscribe right there and all the good stuff share subscribe comment like all the good stuff and as i say Till next time, stay awesome and I'll catch you next time.